here today to witness and to celebrate the coming together of two dearly loved ones entering into the closer relationship of marriage. In the decade they've been together through many ups and many downs, their love and understanding of each other has grown, changed, matured and strengthened. Now they've decided to live their lives together as husband and wife. This is something beyond the warmth and glow of romance. It is caring as much about the welfare and happiness of your life partner as your own. For real love is not total absorption in each other. It is going out into the world in the same direction together. So we all celebrate with you today in a special place, the love that you've discovered, and support your decision to commit yourselves to each other for the rest of your lives. You are joined here today by witnesses of the best kind. To our guests, you are the dear and important people in Sanjay and Kara's lives. You make this a meaningful moment to be remembered by you all. So we ask all those here to give this couple your blessing, your encouragement, and your support in their decision to be married and in their journey ahead together. many things that make this ceremony special. The two people we are joining today, their daughter, all of you are who are here with them for this moment. This beautiful place with the ocean behind us and the inclusion of the Anad Karaj, the Sikh marriage ceremony. The Gurdwara is the Sikh place of worship. Gurdwara means the door to the Guru, the Guru's gate. Every Gurdwara contains the Darbar, a main hall where the holy scriptures reside, and the Langar, the community kitchen. The Sikh marriage ceremony is known as the Anand Karaj, blissful occasion, 
It can take place anywhere, home, or the Gurdwara, as long as the Guru Granth Sahib is present. The marriage ceremony commences with the opening of the Guru Granth Sahib and the reading of the Lava. Lava, literally circling, describes marriage as a rite of passage into higher and higher circles of existence. In Sikhism, marriage is both literal and metaphorical. On the literal level, it is a union of two people. On the metaphorical level, it is a union of the microcosmic self with the macrocosmic reality. After husband and wife become one, they begin their passage together to a union with the ultimate. Sanjay, you have chosen Kara to be your partner and your love. You vow to love her through sickness and health, through laughter and tears, through richer and more as long as you love her. I do. And Kara, you have chosen Sanjay to be your partner and your love. You vow to love him through sickness and health, through laughter and tears, richer and poorer as long as you know Michelle. I do. <laughs> Kara and Sanjay, your wedding day is one that seems to fly. It's a day filled with emotion, friends, rings, and one beautiful view. So before I pronounce you husband and wife, we want you to take these last few seconds of your ceremony and think about the happiness you're feeling in this place, in this moment. Really let this feeling register in your heart and in your mind. We want you to think about your exciting future together and all the adventures that lie ahead with Aaliyah. We all know your visions of the future may not be completely identical, but are always complementary. For a dream you dream alone is only a dream, but a dream you dream together, that is reality. And that new reality starts right now. By the authority vested in me by the Marriage Act, I pronounce you, Sanjay and Kara, to be husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. You and I have been together for over 10 years, but I feel like we've lived a couple of lifetimes together. We've been through more than most, and there's no one else on this earth that could have kept me afloat at times other than you. You're my very best friend, my chosen partner for life, my baby daddy, and the home for my heart. Aliyah's name means exalted, and I do think she's been honored in a special kind of way to have you as her father. Our daughter and I are both so, so lucky to have you. Brings us to our feet. We'll keep chasing what we were meant to be. We can feel it. I'm so incredibly proud of you. You really don't give yourself enough credit. You finished your master's in psychotherapy placement while pregnant during a pandemic and got all A's. Easily transitioned into just a perfect mother to Aaliyah and basically teaching me how to parent as we go along because you're a goddamn pro. I cannot believe how lucky I am. We have been through so much and still have a lifetime to go. You are truly an inspiration to me and I know you will be for me. We can stand on this ground so
became best friends, bonding over boys. We'd lie in bed laughing, making all kinds of noise. Our teenage years were rough at times. I certainly committed a few harmless crimes. <laughs> but we stood by each other through thick and thin, especially when no boys liked us. Wasn't that a friggin' sin? <laughs> but then you found Sanjay and it all made sense. Hey, remember when you got stitches from climbing that fence? <laughs> But alas, I digress, let's get back to the tale. The romantic one where your love set sail. As I've watched you both together tonight, I'm reminded of why it's worth fighting. We love you. Sanjay, Cindy and I couldn't have wished for a better son-in-law and father to Aaliyah, and hopefully more grandchildren. <laughs> what is there to say about Aaliyah? that hasn't been said before. She's got a smile to melt your heart. One time, she sat on the couch. Carol's on one couch and Sanjay's on this one. And Angela just goes to Sanjay and gives him a really tight hug and then stares directly into Carol's eyes. And just says, you will never love him as much as I do. Together to me is like a union of great houses. Uh, because someday I'll admit it, I don't fully understand what you do. But if someone told me you were the Brown Tony Stark, I'd be like, yeah, legit. That's what I mean. I'm not supposed to say this also, Sunday, but it's been incredibly cool to watch you grow and match Kara's office. <laughs> Okay, because he's like all fine now, but when I know him, he was like, Mr. Rolo Polo. <laughs> Off of an adventure. To the kitchen! my first love story, I started looking for you, not knowing how blind that was. Lovers don't finally meet somewhere, they're in each other all along. <laughs>